Hey everyone, I made a website. So if you don't know, I basically have this series that I do on my main channel where I watch and review random anime. And I just uploaded the second part to that series probably the same time that this video is coming out. I'm hoping to release them on the same day. So if you haven't seen that video already, I highly recommend you check that out. If you're coming from that video, because I talk about this video and that video, hello, welcome to my second channel. And so for the very first video that I used, I used a website called spin.moe, which is a anime randomizer. I literally just looked online for like anime randomizer, random anime picker. I just looked up a bunch of terms like that and spin.moe was pretty much the only website that did sort of what I wanted. Um, and so for my very first video, I just used that website and it worked out well. I really liked that first video. A lot of other people seem to really like it, which is why I then am now uploading a second part to it and trying to make it a series um, and everything was going great. However, with spin.moe in particular and no hate towards their creators or anything, I'm sure. I mean, I now know personally that creating a website that does stuff like that is very difficult, but spin.moe had like really weird limitations that I later found out pretty much as soon as I uploaded that video and got a bunch of comments from people who had also used spin.moe to like pick anime. And one in particular that was really weird was that if an spin.moe would not show an anime that was released or like started airing after 2006. And I spun that website for like hours after that video came out. Never once got an anime that came out after 2006, which is really weird. And I would think it's just me being unlucky, but other people had commented stuff like that. So I, I wasn't the only one who was having this weird issue. And so there's just really weird limitations with spin.moe. And it was the only website that I had found that even had a large selection of anime. Usually when you find like random anime websites and they have like a big wheel you can spin, the actual amount of total shows that they have is pretty small. Some of them are hand-picked, some of them do draw from databases, but like exclude a lot of stuff. I just couldn't find anything that's like, give me just a random selection from like all of anime or like the biggest database that you can find. And so for my second video, when I was going to make a sequel to the, I used a randomizer series, I was just looking online for like more randomizers that would be a little better or have more options. And I could not find anything online that had what I wanted, which was basically all of my anime list seemed like a good option. That's probably the widest selection of anime that you could find. And just a website that would pick a completely random show from my anime list, like the entire thing. Give me a weird music video, give me a hentai, give me a strange untranslated Chinese kids show, like anything. And spin.moe wouldn't give me that because it had weird limitations and also was very slow to use, which having made a website I don't understand, as I'll talk about in a second. And yeah, I couldn't find any website that was better. I couldn't find anything that did what I wanted to do. But looking at websites that just pick a random anime from like one website that has a selection of anime, I'm like, that can't be that hard to make, right? That has to be a simple thing to be able to program. Like, surely that's not a difficult thing. And so I started doing research and I started looking into how I could access my anime list, how I could pick an anime randomly, how I could do all of that stuff. And I ended up stumbling upon something called Jikan API. No idea if I'm pronouncing that correctly. I'll show it up on screen right here. There'll be a link in the description to everything I talk about in case you wanna look it up yourself. Um, but I found something called Jikan API which is a third party API. If you don't know what an API is, it's just something that lets you like connect to a website and like use features from it. And Jikan API was a third party API that connected to my anime list and basically took all the data from my anime list. I don't think with their permission because it's a third party that made the API, but it takes all the data from my anime list and lets you like write programs and stuff that use my anime list and can like get entries from it. Um, and if you look up Jikan API in YouTube or on Google, you'll find a bunch of tutorials and stuff, guides on how to make websites that can like create an anime search database or create whatever. And it's a very robust way of accessing my anime list. And I'm like, okay, this is great. And so wanting to make a video where I select random anime, like actually randomly from like a giant selection and not this limited slow website that I was using before, I just started programming. I don't know what compelled me to do this, but I just started learning or relearning um, JavaScript and how to make a website. 
And the way that I built um, the website that I have, which is animerandomizer.com, is I used, oh God, it's called React.js. I'll put a link in the description of that. Uh, React.js, which is a way of like programming JavaScript. And I basically used that because it can just, it just automatically, like you run the program and it builds a website for you. So I used this thing called React.js. And then I made my own website that randomly picks any anime from my anime list. Um, Jikan API actually has a built-in random function where you call the function and it just spits out a random entry from all of my anime list, which is like exactly what I wanted. And I don't know why a website that used that function didn't exist or like I couldn't find one previously. And so I used this API and my previous programming skills, which are not great and very rusty. And I made this website and it doesn't look great. It uses Comic Sans and like default CSS styling. So it looks ugly, though I did make it so it can scale on like mobile devices and still be usable, but it just looks like shit on anything that you use it on. But you click a button, it spits out a random anime for you. And then you click on the, the title of the anime and it takes you to its my anime list entry. So you can like find it. And that's all I wanted for my video that I was doing. So I made this website for my video. I'm probably going to keep working on the website. Maybe whenever I have free time, I'm trying to keep busy with my YouTube channel now that I'm like trying to upload more videos, um, but I will keep working on it. But I just wanted to make this video in case anyone was wondering how I built this website, how I programmed it, but it basically just uses JavaScript to connect to Jikan API, which um, there's a bunch of tutorials you can look up on like how to actually just connect to it in general, because that's basically what I did. I just copied code from people who made like actual websites that use this API and then just kind of like molded it to function for my own purposes of using the random function. And so I built this website, it's all up and it is currently publicly available. So animerandomizer.com is, is available to use if anyone wants to use it for picking random anime for whatever reason. But also I have the entire code base uploaded to GitHub. Um, so I'll have that linked in the description. It's actually the code, I have it running through, oh God, I forget what it's called. I'll put it up on screen because I forget the name of it, but there's essentially a website you can use that you sign up for the website. It's like, I think completely free. Um, I had to pay money because I had to buy the domain name animerandomizer.com. But if you don't want a custom domain, you can just use the whole website for free. Where if you connect your GitHub account to it and upload a GitHub uh, repository with like all of the code and stuff, it'll just run off of that GitHub, a fully functioning website for you and like handle all the background details, which is great. So I used this, whatever this is on screen here, in order to run the GitHub code. So if you go to the GitHub link in the description, you'll find the code that the website is like currently running on. And as I update it, it will update that GitHub page and it'll all be publicly available. So I just thought I would put all of this information up publicly in case someone else wanted to make a randomizer because I am almost definitely sure if you have, you the viewer watching this have programming experience of any kind, or even just interest in it, even if you don't know how to program, but you just think this would be cool, you can surpass my website very easily in like a week if you really want to, um, just by following tutorials and like learning React.js, which is all very well documented online and like YouTube tutorials and stuff. So if anyone watching this wants to make their own website, not saying anyone has to, but I found it interesting. So other people might want to do something similar. Um, go to all the stuff I linked in the description and you'll be able to find literally everything I used, including my own code. If you want to like download my code and use it for whatever function you want to use it for. Um, my code is terrible. I did not document like anything. It's very bad and bare bones. And a lot of it's just copy pasted from other tutorials, like haphazardly put together. And then like, I'm not sure the correct way, but in a way that works seemingly for now. So if anyone's interested in that, I'm putting this all out publicly. If you're interested at all in the website I made, that's the entire purpose of this video is just to talk about this. And yeah, that's basically it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.